Hey, what's up, African Fight Fam? It's your boy JB, and I'm back at it again with another Basketballs. What Basketballs is, guys, this is where I scour the internet. I find African Fight news and I bring them to you. I talk about them, but what's most important are your opinion about these topics. Anyways, uh, before I start, ladies and gentlemen, make sure you roundhouse kick the like button and uppercut the subscribe button, and then my intro, guys. Come on, yeah, so uh, today we are going to be talking about Gilbert Burns, Kamaru Usman, Hamza Chimaev, the UFC welterweight title picture. So, uh, so um, I was watching Morning Combat. Morning Combat is a show mostly for MMA, but they do general combat with some bit of boxing in there. Brian Campbell and Luke Thomas. And it's on Showtime, guys, uh, if you're in the US. So, uh... Before every UFC pay-per-view, these guys, they always do like a big special edition of the make content, basically. So, and UFC 273, what they did, they went down to Sanford MMA, which is a gym down in Florida where Henry Hoof was, uh, coaches. And that's where Kamaru Usman used to fight or used to train, basically. So, um, yeah. Uh, if you can remember, Kamaru Usman's team, team, former teammate and former rival is uh, Gilbert Burns. Gilbert Burns is going to fight Kamza Chimaev this weekend in UFC 273. This fight is going to be one of the most important fights, or if not the most important fight this year so far in the welterweight division. I know you might argue that um, Masvidal, Kobe Covington is the biggest fight in a headline, the pay-per-view. Yeah, guys, big deal. They lost twice each to the champion. None of them is getting a t- title shot anytime soon. But Gilbert Burns and Chimaev are some freight trains in the Walter Witt division. Gilbert Burns is one of the most scared fighters. Basically, one of the most scared. How do I... Uh, English, guys. <laughs> fighters are afraid of Gilbert Burns. Fighters are afraid of Chimaev. And afraid is a bit of a strong word, but you get my point. So these guys are are gonna, I predict, after the fight, whoever wins between these two guys, they would grab the microphone and call out uh, the champion. And deservedly so, because Gilbert Burns, after his loss to Kamaru Usman, he uh, beat Wonderboy, and now if he beats Chimaev, title shot. Chimaev, biggest hype train we've seen since Conor McGregor. Bits Gilbert Burns, top five contender, title shot. But what one thing I forgot to talk about when I was talking about Morning Combat. Uh, so Morning Combat, they released a montage before the interview with Gilbert Burns, and in the montage I saw a glimpse of Kamaru Usman helping Gilbert Burns train, and I was so shocked because I I was thinking that oh is this one of the old footages they had from the early days of uh, Sanford MMA. So it made me stick to listen to Gilbert Burns talk about Kamaru Usman because I know he would come up at some point. And he mentioned that Kamaru Usman was actually there helping him train for Chimaev. I'm just going to show you guys the clip. So uh, here we go. Here's the montage, the intro montage. This is sound for the MMA from the outside. A bit of cinematic view. Uh, there's going to be a transition there. You see Kamaru Usman trying to tie in the shin guards of uh, Gilbert Burns. Gilbert Burns sparring. You're going to see Kamaru Usman again giving some instructions or motivation or what you might call it. Yeah. So. Uh, I stuck around to hear Gilbert Burns speak about and Gilbert Burns confirmed Kamaru Usman is helping him train. And I was so fascinated because after Kamaru Usman's fight with Gilbert Burns uh, earlier last year, I thought things went sour between them because before the fight there was all this about former friends former teammates thing uh after the fight there's this popular clip of like uh kamaru some emotional clip of kamaru usman crying gilbert burns crying after the fight and there was this famous line from kamaru usman that was like take what from who and uh yeah uh yeah take what from who so and uh yeah, so now for me to see Kamaru Usman helping Gilbert Burns prepare for arguably his biggest fight right now. Well, every fight of all fighters is the biggest fight. But arguably a fight that would potentially make him fight Gilbert Burns again. 
it's commendable to me. Um, one of the reasons why Kamaru Usman left Stanford MMA is because many, many guys in that gym, because it's a huge gym, there are many welterweights in there, and welterweight is one of the most common weight among men. You know, most average people walking around are welterweights without even training. So, so most of the fighters in there started become becoming ranked welterweights. And Kamaru Usman trains there, obviously, so that wouldn't be good for him because uh, they would uh, kind of know his game plan, maybe feel him a bit. So one of the reasons why Kamaru left and... Um, Obviously, he's been training with Gilbert, Gilbert his whole career, had more, most of his career, and we saw how the first fight came up, came about. So now, the potential of the second fight happening is very huge if Gilbert Burns beat Chimaev, and Kamaru Usman is helping Gilbert Burns to beat Chimaev. So you see what I'm talking about? So uh, um, another thing that got my attention was the fact that no MMA media was carrying this because I think this is a very, 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 very important piece of information for the MMA fans because um, I do know that uh, Sanford MMA is notorious for um, it, lack of privacy. Sanford MMA, American top team. There's a lot of fighters that, or well, a few fighters that have been talking about not training there because they don't want people filming them and all that. Uh, I know that I also understand that there are rules in said gyms about filming, but uh, regardless, it still happens. So uh, we never really heard about this until I saw this little tiny bit of information that got my attention. So, yeah, what do you guys think about Kamaru Usman helping Gilbert Burns beat Chimaev? That's very fascinating, isn't it? So, uh, yeah, make sure you uh, drop a comment, tell me your opinions about this, and um, yeah. Don't forget, uppercut the like button, subscribe, do all the good things for the African fighters. Yesterday, I spoke about Rico Stoplacy. That's the video on the right. And Demo Atepina. And there's also the video on the left uh, about uh, the top 10 African champions of all time. Subscribe. African fighters, we are. Come on, Africans! Ah,